Hey guys, I'm on top of the roto molder right now. What this is, this is the, uh, the mold for the tub of the 50 quart cooler. Inside right now is some raw material for the polyethylene uh, powder resin. It starts in a powder form before it gets cooked and it adheres to the wall. Next I'll show you kind of how the different phases of the roto molder works. You've heard me say it takes an hour for each cooler on the roto molder. It's basically 20 minutes setup time, 20 minutes in the oven, 20 minutes cool down time. The roto molder oven is big enough that you can park a car into it. The roto molder, basically what it is, when the coolers go inside the oven, the reason they call it roto is that the molds rotate on all axes to get the plastic in every single part inside the wall and it creates a hollow product before it gets filled with insulation. Older footage needs a voiceover and some music. This is Mr. Dan. I am so thankful for him. He never stops smiling, he does whatever is required, and he has great ideas. He has been rotomolding coolers for years, and he was one of the first to join the new Maluna facility early last year. Here you can see him putting the inside of the tub mold on after the plastic resin powder has already been put in and fastened in all of the inserts. This mold was the very first Maluna mold, and this footage was from last fall when we made the first 120 focus group coolers. Here you can see the mold inside the oven. It's rotating and just finishing the 20 minute cook time. The oven opens up and backs out of the, out of the way. The cooler will continue to rotate for another 20 minutes while the carousel swings the arm around into the cooling stage. Roto molding is great for large, hollow, strong plastic parts, including outdoor kids toys or outdoor adult toys like kayaks. Roto molding is perfect for these coolers. It can be a very nuanced process and difficult to pin down a routine, but when it's done right, you can get a nice uniform wall thickness and no warping. And now you can see the cooler back in the setup stage. It's been molded and ready to remove. First, Mr. Dan needs to pull the undercut portions of the mold out. The hinge pinholes, drain plug form, rear plate recesses, and all 26 thread inserts. Once it's free from obstruction, the mold can be separated and the cooler can be removed. After the cooler comes out, this mold will be ready to make another cooler. For the new cooler that's coming out, it's not yet completely cooled down. It comes out of the mold pretty hot, like a fresh cup of coffee. But when it goes to insulation, there is an inspection stage and additional cooling time and equipment while the cooler shrinks in the final shape. Final cooling and shrinkage is extremely important to have a dialed in routine because it has such a big impact on fit and finish of the final product. Tomorrow, I'll share how the insulation gets injected. And again, another shout out to Mr. Dan who managed all of the iterations to get the molding procedures perfectly documented for excellent coolers that pass final inspection every time.